What's going on YouTube? I'm Cooper, this is the Cooper Music Page, and today I'm going to teach you a G chord in 10 seconds. Alright, if I'm going to do this in 10 seconds, I'm going to need a timer right up here. Thank you. 10 seconds, and go! Middle finger here, index finger here, pinky finger here. And if you have a couple seconds left, put your ring finger right there and strum. And that's a G chord in 10 seconds, guys. Thanks for watching. Wait, you didn't think that was going to be it, did you? I mean, yes, I taught you all the things that you need to know in order to make a G chord in 10 seconds. But that's not all I want to teach you about the G chord. Okay, so what is a G chord? Well, a G chord is made up of three notes, a G, B, and a D. And that's why we have those three notes in this fingering on the guitar that I just taught you. You have your G note on the bass, you have the B note on the A string, you have your open D string, you have your open G string, you have what I showed you, which was optional at the end there, which is the D note on your B string, or the open D string, and then the G note on your high E string. And when you put all those together, just the three notes arranged several times over that chord shape, you get a G chord. Now there is also the bar chord G chord for the more advanced players, I'll say. Uh, everybody struggles with bar chords once you're starting. Don't feel bad about that. But your bar chord starting on the third fret, bar that whole fret, and you have your E major shape in front of it. And that is your G major bar chord. There's also a G major bar chord down here on the 10th fret. And that is simply the bar chord and then the A major shape on these lower strings. More about bar chords later. So once you get your G chord, you want to make sure that you practice and practice and practice and, well, just keep practicing. You want to make sure your fingers are arched so that you're not muting any of the other strings and that you're actually pressing down hard enough to get the notes to ring out. If you're running into issues with it sounding like this, or like this, or like this, that's an extreme example. You're probably not arching your fingers enough just to hit those single notes. Or you're probably not pressing hard enough on the strings to get dead notes. And you don't want that. You want crisp, clean notes on every single string. Once you've mastered that, and I can't stress this enough, keep practicing it, you can go on to strumming. So you have your classic strum. That can get kind of boring after a while, so you might want to add some flourishes. Now there's a very simple flourish with this open G chord with just your index finger, pulling it on and off. Ready? Same strum pattern, different feel, more variety, and it adds another layer to your guitar playing. Now if you're on the G bar chord, you can take off that ring finger and put it on just like you did with your index finger on the open chord. Another useful version of the G chord is the G7 chord, and that's done with the G bar chord simply by taking off your pinky finger. It's a more bluesy chord. Then you can add those two tips, your G7 bar chord, and pulling on and off that ring finger for a little bit more variety. Another quick little tip is the G major 7, which you can do in a simple open form by moving your pinky finger on the 3rd fret to your ring finger on the 2nd fret of that high E. It's a more jazzy kind of feel to it. And of course if you want a G minor chord, all you have to do is take that G major bar chord and take off your middle finger, make that into an E minor shape above the third fret bar. You have your G minor chord. Or of course if you want to do it on the 10th fret, you got to put middle finger down like an A minor shape on the 10th fret bar.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on the G chord. There's a lot of information packed in there, varying levels of difficulty, whether you're a brand new beginner or an intermediate level-ish guitar player looking to involve some other techniques and other things with your guitar playing. I hope you enjoyed. If I missed your favorite thing about the G chord, trust me, I missed a lot about the G chord, put it down in the comments below and let me know what you like to do with your G chords. Now would be a good time to mention there's a new link down there called Cooper Music Swag where you can get t-shirts and phone cases and even masks to stay COVID friendly out there in the world and represent the Cooper Music brand. If you order today, you get 10% off with promo code COOPER10. So make sure you go and check that out. Anyways, that's it for today. If you want to subscribe and check out new content every Monday, go ahead and click up here to stay updated with my videos. If you want to see another video that you'd probably like, click right down here.